yesterday on the broadcast, I, I mentioned what the Apostle Paul said to young Timothy when he talked about people whose conscience were seared. And, of course, this goes along with our conversation from the book of First Peter, where Peter several times uses that expression concerning the conscience, either having a good conscience or having a conscience toward God. But I want to come back to this thought about the seared conscience. So how does that happen? Because I think that when we're young, when we're very young, that often our hearts are tender. But it's also interesting to me how that uh, you see a, a child begin to grow and develop and how quickly they can fall into telling little lies and uh, just not own it up to things. And, of course, these are all things that we as parents, we, we deal with. And we try to teach them right from wrong and, and uh, to be honest and never to lie. All those things are very important to us parents, and we try to instill those things into our children. But oftentimes, something goes wrong, and a person doesn't develop their conscience. And oftentimes, these are people who live a life of crime. Sometimes you find them in the, the jails and, and other things because they just never learn to be able to be sensitive to their conscience. We see what happens is that when we ignore it, the prompting, and this is why I said on the Monday's broadcast that I believe this is a spiritual thing, even for those who have no regard for God and say, well, I don't even believe in God. I still believe it's a spiritual thing, and I believe it is the prompting of God and of the Holy Spirit that would just come to somebody and just say, hey, you've done something here, and, and it's wrong, and something's troubling you inside, and thank God for that, because that's the Holy Spirit working in a person's life, just give them the understanding that this is outside of the realm of righteousness and just relationship one with another and being able to just live your life in such a manner that there's just a peace in your soul because you know that you have not violated that which is not yours. And a lot of times it deals in those areas. Somebody becomes a uh, lustful or somebody becomes to the point to where they covet something that belongs to somebody else and they and they go through whatever means they can find to be able to steal it or, or, or commit a relationship with somebody that's not theirs to commit a relationship with and they just have that pricking in their spirit but yet instead of dealing with it they just push it away. They just push it away until the old heart just becomes hard. And this is what the Apostle Paul is talking about. Their conscience just becomes seared. It's not working. But I would pray that that person would never find peace. Because I believe that peace only comes when our conscience is clean. And I believe that if we will allow the Holy Spirit to do his work, that he will bring conviction and causes us to fess up, deal with what we've done wrong, to find peace in our soul. It's Pastor Jack King with the Gospel on the radio broadcast.